so today i'm going to talk about a few of the unique journaling techniques i use these are the techniques i found very few people are talking about but i personally found these methods very beneficial and i am very positive if you use these techniques it will also benefit you immensely i call this my journaling 2.0 technique so in this video i'll tell you why you need to journal what are the unique styles you can use for journaling and how you can journal maintaining consistency i always found journaling is a technique that gives your thoughts a physical form you can't see your thoughts when you are thinking as the thoughts are fleeting right it is always replacing by the new one. but when you write them down they take shape in front of your eyes this allow you to pause reflect and truly understand what really going on in your mind even thoughts you have just a few minutes ago might be forgotten in the constant stream of mental chatter are now captured in the form of journaling i believe it almost work like a personal therapist for you giving your mind a mirror allowing you to observe and analyze it okay so now coming to the point what are the unique journaling methods that i use and had made a positive impact in my life number 1 is stream of consciousness This journaling style is very apt if you are beginning your journaling journey and even if you are journaling from before. The definition of stream of consciousness means a literary and psychological concept that refers to the continuous flow of character's thoughts, feelings and observations without deliberate attempt to organize or structure them. In this method write whatever is coming in your mind. It does not need to have an introduction or a hook sentence to begin. You can simply start from anywhere like I have no idea where this is going, but I need to get these thoughts down before I lose them. Or like why does this always happen to me? I can't stop thinking about it. You don't need to think about any prompts or questions that you are going to write in the journal. Just write until your mind and pen is out of words. And of course, screw handwriting or any grammatical errors in this method. Just vomit everything whatever is in your head. The next process is journaling through doodling. Sometimes images convey ideas or emotions that words can't. So in this journaling method I encourage you to have the mix of both doodling and writing at the same time. No, you don't need to be an artist or painter for this. Everyone can doodle. For example, a few days before I had this idea about what success looks like. if it has any shape or form then i roughly drew this idea this pie chart of success having probably 45% of consistency 35% of hard work 10% of luck and 10% of smart work and this entire process there is a good role of patience so you can see how well it can help to understand your thought patterns in a constructive way the next type of journal i want to mention is sound journaling it is basically using your phone's voice recording app for journaling whenever you think there are some ideas or thoughts in your mind and you need to document it just put the recorder on and say whatever is in your mind now someone may argue this is not a journaling process but i want to say that journaling is the practice of recording your thoughts feelings experiences and observations so this method can be as effective as the traditional written journaling format Sound journaling can capture the raw emotions of your thoughts in a way that writing sometimes can't and this is the beauty of sound journaling it is very impactful for its spontaneity and accessibility you can record your thoughts while walking and even lying in the bed later when you again hear these recordings then it will add another dimension for your self reflection process 
So the next type of journaling method I'm going to talk about is micro journaling. So this is the type of journaling method where instead of writing pages after pages like we discussed in the stream of consciousness process, you focus writing on the small events that may seem insignificant to others but is important for you to be documented. It's all about acknowledging or appreciating the everyday moments. For example, it can can be describing an event that made you feel bad like maybe you had an argument with someone in your office or maybe you want to record an event that gave you joy maybe someone praised you on the street because how you have dressed up so like this you can write about any small events like a stranger's kind smile the first sip of your morning tea a moment of unexpected laughter with your friends the play of sunlight you observed on leaves and even maybe a brief feeling of accomplishment after completing a small task again you can write this anywhere in your phone in your diary it will enhance your awareness to enjoy life's simple pleasures and the last but not the least is fictional journaling so for me this type of journaling proved very interesting and i'll tell you why in this type of journaling method you need to write your entries from the perspective of a fictional character and alternate self of yourself what i mean by that is to explore what if scenarios it can be writing about your dream life how your best day or best week will look like how differently you could have handled a particular situation that you regret it's almost like writing like a writer of your own life's novel and treating yourself as the main character of your life this concept will help you to understand what exactly you want from life and it will subconsciously assist you to get that life okay so these are the five unique journaling methods that i use now coming to the main part how you can journal maintaining the consistency so firstly you need to understand in this journaling method 2.0 you can journal everywhere in a diary on your phone in your ipad in your computer anywhere don't wait for the right paper the journal diary or pen to start your journaling journey this is the most important and number one point to maintain consistency the point two is never it should happen like you are feeling the urge to write anything but you are not able to write that as you don't have your diary with you write or record your thoughts anywhere possible anywhere for example a few days before i was outside and i went to the cafe suddenly there was a urge to write something my thoughts some thoughts are bombarding inside my mind but i didn't have my journal diary with me i had pen so i found the tissue paper on the table and started to write and it felt so satisfying you know it's all about that particular moment what thoughts you are having and those can be precious so yes start recording your thoughts anywhere possible number three of maintaining consistency is that don't think i don't have the mood to write even one page today or i don't have the mood to write anything in detail right now you don't always need to write pages after pages every day you can put your thoughts probably maybe in three lines you can even write in bullet points you are writing for yourself you are not giving your journal entries to a publisher to publish right so so why take it seriously lastly i want to tell you that there will be some days when you'll not journal you'll break the streak of writing journals but i'll say that's okay if you miss the streak you are not going to the olympics that if you miss a one day practice then it can affect you don't be harsh on you take it as a fun process but after a day or two please get back to the process when you maybe when you feel like journaling again grab that pen grab your diary and start to journal Okay, so thank you for watching i hope it will help you somehow if you love this video share it with at least one person whom you think may help this video
subscribe if you haven't already and if you want some journal questions that you would like to write in your journals then here are some videos that I made related to questions that you should ask in your life you may use that in writing your journal meet you in the next Thank you.